Yo, 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 everyone, and welcome to another moth video. Today I wanted to talk with you guys about the uh, African species of leopard moth called the Schausina clemency. This is a very um, common species that is often sourced from countries such as uh, Zambia, but also bordering uh, countries such as uh, the Democratic Republic of Congo and a few other places in Africa. It's hard to find any concrete information about these beautifully colored moths. Um, except for the fact that supposedly they uh, feed on the uh, family of Caparacea, uh, but also several coniferous trees such as the Pinus. Um, I've been told this is not 100% confirmed to be true, so uh, please forgive me if these host plants are not correct. It was very hard to find anything about him on the internet. Maybe the host plants are in older literature. Uh, but the Caparacea and several pine trees, like a penis, are supposed to be their food plants. Now, if this is true, this will, uh, you know, really reveal, re be revealed later. This species seems to destroy its own wings very fast. As you can see, this specimen over here, the wingtips are a little bit damaged. And the specimen above that, oops, my camera wobbled. This specimen here at my thumb is also not very pristine anymore. So uh, let's put this one back. There you go. But this specimen here, which is now trying to fly, um, it hatched today from the cocoon. It's still almost perfect looking. So. Um, it's still, despite it, a very beautiful species, in my opinion. They have these beautiful flanner, flannel, uh, vanilla colors, you know. I would really love to raise this species from egg to adult, uh, but so far only males are hatching. Uh, cocoons are supposed to be extremely common in Africa. It's almost supposedly a pest species, but uh, again, take all of this information with a grain of salt. It is not by an official source. But supposedly this guy, these guys are really common, and sometimes uh, cocoons will be available very cheap for hobbyists like me when someone just imports a few hundred cocoons oh there we go now you can see their white abdomen oops I ho do hope that in a few days time a female will hatch it would make me very happy to breed these species uh, of course I don't successfully breed every moth species that, uh, that I try to breed it's often uh, also a game of luck, you know, it's, you have to be very lucky to succeed as well. You need just a good timing for a male and a female. But yes, uh, I love leopard moths, especially the uh, ones from Africa, so uh, it would make me very happy. I'm sorry for showing you some old specimens, it is very hard to keep them fresh. Because the moths are very hyperactive, as you can see, the... Uh, the most freshly hatched male is uh, trying to fly away right now. Maybe you can hear his wings flapping here in the background. There you go. Whoop. As you can see when they are stressed, these guys just refuse to settle down. This could be one of the reasons why these uh, moths damage their wings so fast. Wow. Okay, so finally it has appeared that the specimen has calmed down. Probably not for long, because I feel like he's going to fly away any minute now. But at least now you can see the true colors of a fresh Schausina clemency. There's uh, several species of Schausina in Africa. And it could also be worth studying the other species in this genus to see what uh, whatever it is that they eat. Such as the uh, Schausina affinis. Usually uh, leopard moths when you look at another, another species from the same genus will have... Well, mo not always, but most of the time their host plants can overlap. So if you have nothing to work with, you can try that at least. What a beauty, isn't it? It's a beautiful insect. And there you go. As I suspected. And these guys are just wild. But uh, thank you for watching my video. And uh, hope to see you again next time.